Hey everybody, Bob Babbitt here, Breakfast with Bob from Challenge Daytona PTO 2020 Championship. Again, my name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Captiva Spine, John Hall Chevrolet, USA Triathlon Foundation Risk Partners, and the PTO, the Pro Triathletes Organization, ranked a number 21 in the PTO rankings. Jeannie Seymour joins us. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> I am wonderful, and uh, I like somebody with a varied background, and I look at your primary school, your, your ballet, cross-country, field hockey, swimming, cycling. You did it all. <laughs> I did. I um, I just really loved sports growing up and just kind of tried everything. And I have two older brothers, so they also just got me into yeah. doing everything. And um, my mom was, was a runner and she played hockey. So I just loved being around her and kind of following in her yeah. footsteps so yeah <laughs> any thoughts when you were younger oh i'm gonna be a professional athlete when i grow up oh definitely that was my dream it since was. i was really young yes i didn't to know what yeah. yes so it was like um i don't know like sport has always been a, a place where like i kind of felt my best and yes. kind of alive um and just like yeah just try to figure out what i really wanted to pursue and when i tried triathlon i was like whoa this is this, this is, is it this is it <laughs> <laughs> and did you try triathlon for the first time when you were in South Africa? Yes, I was like 18. So like my final year of high school, like a cousin got me into some cycling. And then I started um, triathlon just like in a local club and yeah. did my first half Ironman. And I was like, well, this is this awesome. Is, this is the best. <laughs> yes. I, I like this a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and what brought you to the U.S.? Um, so a coach at the time, he, he was a professional. His name's Freddie Lampert. Yes. Um, and he he came over to Boulder a year previous to that, and he wanted me to just come over for a summer to see what it was like and uh, just do a bit of training and racing and uh, just kind of seeing where the level of triathlon was in the U.S. was just like mind blowing to me. So I came over for a summer and I was just like, wow, this is just really what I want to do. So yeah. And, and how long was it before you decided, you know what I? I think I could be a pro. I think I might uh, might be really good at this. Yeah, I mean, I did my first 70.3 or half Ironman in South Africa, and yeah. I won my age group there. So, like, I was I had the like opportunity to be a pro. So, so did that bring you to Vegas for the championships? Yes, it did. And um, my coach was just like, I, I think you can be good at this. So, um, and I because I always dreamt of being a professional athlete yeah. I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna go for it so Why it was not? kind of a bold move but <laughs> I've been loving it so yeah well, and I, I look at the you know last number of years just just uh, when you do when you're second at St. George I mean we're, we're talking those are uh, tough courses <laughs> and you know world class fields so you, you all of a sudden you're having great, really good response and good good results yeah, I mean, it's, it hasn't come easy. I mean, my first few years, I was um, really like my first two or three years as a pro was really tough. I yeah. mean, trying to make it in the sport isn't easy. And um, I just, I think, you know, you just got to persevere and keep working hard. And, right. Um, that's kind of just my go-to. I just, I, I may not be the most talented athlete out there, but I know my work ethic is incredibly high and I just don't give up. So, um, yeah, I just, just kept going and I love competing. And I think by throwing myself into these big events since like the very beginning, you kind of, you learn quickly. <laughs> right. So that's just been a fun journey for me to, to just keep improving every year. So when you win 70.3 Austin 2015, and uh, then you defend that title, right, in mm -hmm. 2016, and uh, did you feel at that point, okay, now I, I, I think I'm heading in the right direction? Uh, yes, I mean, when you start winning, it's, it's a great feeling, yeah. but I, at the back of my mind, I also knew that oh, now I kind of need to go to the world championships and see right. how I do there. Yes. And um, that's a whole new stage, right? So I still like that kind of is a driving force to get better. And I know like um, when you go to the world championships, it's the real deal. You racing the best in the world. Right. And um, yeah, I just, I still haven't like my goal in South Africa at the 70.3 world champs, I wanted to make top five and I wasn't able to do that there, but um 
I close. still I was close. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you won, but you won seventy point three South Africa. Yes, that was that really special. That must have been so cool <laughs> to go back there. Yeah, I mean it that. was really special. Just like racing in front of my family. Yeah. And just having the the crowd support there was was really fun for sure. <laughs> yeah, and well, yeah. I mean that was a big year because, like you said, seventy point three worlds was in South Africa. Yes. And you got yeah. seventh there. That's, yep. <laughs> now was family there too. Yes, that was really fun too. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it was a great course and just so spectator friendly. So yeah, it was great there in Port Elizabeth. And now, which was your what was your first full? My first full was in Texas. Yeah. A- and how'd you do? <laughs> I got third there, so that was that was pretty fun. And qualified you for Kona. I did. Yes. Yeah. So that was kind of like I just punched my ticket there, and um, I was really stoked to to be able to uh, qualify for Kona. So there. if the world gets back to normal, yes. what are the plans for this, for the 2021 year? Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I definitely want to go back to Kona. I didn't have the race that I wanted last year, um, just due to, to a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of had a bike crash, which led to concussion, mm. and I just missed like a lot of training that I needed to prepare for Kona and I mean going to Kona for the first time is a big deal in itself just being Um, at that starting line must have been so special for you um and I just think that I learned so much so just uh, it's just so, such a special race, and I can't wait to go back. So um, my my plan is just to to try and qualify again, and right. hopefully we can we can do the Kona next year. <laughs> so uh, as someone who really didn't have that ITU type background, you get to race some ITU athletes yes, out which here, is so which is fun, right? right? Totally I, different. I just yeah, I mean it's just so incredible what the PTR are doing just trying to bring us all together and just like really bring a different dynamic to racing yeah um which is so fun because we don't get to to mix the long and course and short course athletes together and i think that just really puts on a great like performance to watch right so i think that's that's a really good point that you're you're basically the itu guys go do their thing it's gotten to the point now where a lot of 70.3 people specialize in 70.3 yes. and then you got the full Ironman people. Yes. This sort of brings everybody together right. under one roof with, you know, where it's really hard to predict mm-hmm. because you don't necessarily swim or race these other yeah. women yeah. very often. I know. I This year in Boulder, I actually had an opportunity to, to train with some ITU people. Yeah. Um, the Origin group is there with Ian O'Brien, and he has some some really great ITU athletes like Mac McElroy there. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, it's just like there's such different athletes because we're training for such different events, right? High intensity, right? Yes. And basically they train for the bike because it's almost like a crit. It's almost like crit yes, format. Exactly. Where you guys are steady state. You're mm-hmm. more diesel. Right. And But the, the thing is, is like we're time trialing, right? So the ITU athletes have never, well, most of them have never done that right before. so it's like someone like matt mcelroy like it's kind of exciting to see like how he's going to be doing like on a time trial bike so i think it's pretty fun <laughs> it, it, it's really fun yeah, yeah I, I like that and the depth of the field a yeah. lot of times when you go into 70.3 and full ironman you sort of know who the players are going to be at the, when you go to texas yeah. there's six seven women who you sort of know are going right. to be a factor right you come here and there's, <laughs> f- what, 40, 50 women right. who all think they're going to be top five, top ten. Exactly. And can be. Exactly. <laughs> right. So it's like, I think it's like we never really get to race that many people to begin with. Right. So it's like the f- really the first time we get to race the depth and the quality at a kind of a weird distance right. for everyone. How yeah. does this suit you? How does this course suit you? Um, I mean... I don't know if a flatter course is best suited to me, yeah. but um, I just feel like because of the dynamic of the race, mm-hmm. that m- it may suit me a little better because if you can can stay in the group on the bike, it almost comes down to a running race. Right. And um, yeah, I just running I- is my happy place. So um, I, if it comes down to a running race, I'll be pretty happy. You'd to, be happy with yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we just never know. I mean, this year has been so challenging in itself. We just don't know where everyone is at and right. where's, where's like the where's people going to attack. Like it's pretty hard to attack, especially with the twenty lap 
course. Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see the dynamic of the race. You're so. one of the few people who actually has results in 2020, right? <laughs> so right. You, you won what? Huntington and Great Floridian. Yes. That's yeah. sort of nice to, to have some, some races on your schedule. Definitely. I mean, this year has been so tough without racing. I, I just love racing so much. I'm a competitor. Yeah. Um, yeah, my, my husband and I, we were like, whatever races are on the schedule, let's just go. Let's just, we just want to do, we don't care where, where it is or who's there. We just want to race, right? Yes. So um, I feel like going into this uh, championship event, like having done two races has helped a little bit because like if you don't race in a while, you just kind of sure forget, forget that feeling. Yeah, It's a different gig than training. Yes. So the, my first race back in Huntington, I was like, my transitions were terrible terrible like I was I was just like making silly mistakes and I think that's all out of the way now so I'm ready to race <laughs> um, and now the Great Floridian has been around forever what's yeah. great about that event is it's like a three ring circus right you got yes. sprinters sprint athletes you got Olympic distance mm -hmm. you got 70.3 got <laughs> was that fun for you it was so fun and you know I train in Claremont Florida like oh, at least do. once a year with yeah, yeah, my yeah. coach and group so I know the area so well so to go back there and kind of race on on roads that I typically right. always train on is was really fun and and it's tough. I mean, it was a hot, humid day, and the, you wouldn't think, but the bike course is so hilly, um, so it just made for a really fun race. So yeah, we also have the Challenge Championship right in yes. Samarin next mm -hmm. year. Is that a goal for you? Um, I don't know. I it's mean, hard, right? it's so hard to say. I mean. For me, at the back of my mind, I just want to try and get to Kona. So, right. um, who knows? I I, I want to race anything I can. So, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on. Anything you can yes, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very cool. Um, and so, the goal will be Kona for, for yes. 2021. Mm -hmm. And do as many races as humanly possible. Um, yeah, within context, I right. think, you know, um, who knows when, when real racing will actually get back. I, I'm not sure. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be here this weekend and, and just do my best and yes. just enjoy this really unique experience. So. You know, what's fascinating to me, I mean, really without this, you know, without all of a sudden this, this uh, this opportunity to race mm -hmm. with 1.15 million dollars right, against right. the best people in the world, it it sort of gives a you know, like a little light bulb, like a little light in sort of a dark year. Yes, I think? mean definitely. I mean you can't like I don't think I've ever raced with such a big prize purse ever. So that's exciting and just like first of all getting the opportunity yes. to race i think for a lot of athletes this is going to be their first and only race of 2020 so yes. um yeah and we're just really grateful to the pto for for putting on this event love it Jeannie, thanks so much for taking time it's great <laughs> to get to chat with you yeah absolutely thank you so much for the opportunity so who is faster you or justin justin's way faster really oh yeah i mean he's he's just like completely like improved so much just like within the last two years coach just, julie dibbins huh? oh yeah he's just and you know he gets to train with Tio and matt hansen it's just been so great for him and i am so excited to see him race he's in such a great spot he's yes. super fit and so fired up so so uh, he, yeah. he's a coach but you never thought of having him coach you I think we chatted about it, but we also realized that, you know, like you our, kill each other. Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably. And I just think it's best that we just keep that separate. And um, yeah, I think what's also pretty cool is I get to watch him race on the weekend because our times are different. Like yes. the women start at 10 and the men are at two. So oh, I'll get to watch the men. So it's going to be a good day. <laughs> well, so when you go to a race where you're, you, know, you obviously are putting a lot of energy into yourself, but yes. you also have your husband there. So yeah. how hard is that when you guys are both racing the same race? It is hard, but I think the more we do it, the better we get at it. Just yeah. knowing what like maybe we both need, like 
just as individuals and still trying to support each yeah. other it's it's not easy but i still i just one of the best things is is to race on the same day and yes hopefully we both have really great days um it doesn't always happen but it's pretty special to to both race so i remember we were uh, chatting with marinda carfrey and asking her that same question about balancing between yes. husband and so you know the problem is that in a lot of the families there's you know you've got one at one athlete and then the other the wife the yes. person who does the other stuff yes it says we don't have that we, yeah. <laughs> right so we don't. it's not like i can lay on the couch and have tim finished fix dinner it's right. you know we we both have to do it for for both of us right that that's the hard part we don't mm -hmm. have a wife mm -hmm. i think we just figured out pretty quickly what are our strengths and yes. so justin does a lot of like the logistics and um those kind of things i do the cooking like we have our own little you have tasks. your roles we have our roles and we're pretty good about that and support Love each it. other when things don't go right so yeah i mean like like today um i don't know tsa like took my bike bag to build up all my my bike with all my stuff and so we got to figure that out and it's just <laughs> the the theme of 2020 is just rolling with the punches I, with I feel like we're we're equipped to do that now with all the the Absolutely. setbacks and uncertainty so we're Love ready it. to go <laughs> hey have fun this weekend yeah thanks <laughs> Jeannie Seymour has been our guest everybody hold on we will be right back <laughs>